Coffee stay black just like me Black like me Black like me Black like me Black like me Welcome to On The Record. I'm your host, Jamal Radio Raheem. Now, for those who are new to this, On The Record is a show where I go to local record stores. I get CDs, DVDs, vinyls, whatever they got. I take you with me, and I explain what I got. Simple concept. Now, on this episode, I went to my favorite place, Streetlight Records. Yes, I always go there. I don't even always record when I go there. But since I got a lot of stuff, I decided to record and show y'all what I got. Now, we about to get into this episode. So sit down, relax, smoke you a bleezy if you have to, and enjoy. All right, first we're going to start with the DVDs. Now, I got a little bit of DVD, a little bit of CD, a little bit of vinyl. Now, I'm going to show y'all the DVDs first. First DVD, Scary Movie. This is the first one. This is the best spoof movie that I've seen in my lifetime. And I know there's been some great ones. But this one is just so great. You got Sean. You got Marlon. You got Anna Ferris. You got Regina Hall. You got so many. Like Shannon. What's her name? Elizabeth as well is in here. This is a good movie. This is making fun of all the movies that came out in the time. Just just solid you know. Shout out to Keenan Ivory Wayne. Mr. Put On Your Whole Family. This movie executes all of that stuff. So much humor, so much, like, funny moments, like, I'm gonna put a couple in here, right here. Yo. Hello, shorty. What are you doing? Nothing. Sitting here watching the game, smoking some butt. Are you all alone? What's up? What's up? What the? <laughs> Who's that? Yo, pick up the phone. What's up? What's up? Yo, Duke, pick up the phone. Yo. What's up? <laughs> What you doing, son? Nothing. Just chilling. Killing. True, true. Next DVD, Blade 2. Now, I went in there looking for Blade 1 because I go to Streetlight with a mission because I'd be end up spending like $300 if I don't. I went for Blade 1. I couldn't find it, so I settled for Blade 2, which is a great movie to settle with. You know what I'm saying? You still getting that action. You still getting Wesley Snipes showing that martial arts skills. You getting all that. Now, Blade 2 is not better than Blade 1, but it's still a great movie. It is still a great movie. And without Wesley Snipes, without Blade, there ain't no Marvel Cinematic. There ain't none of that. He started it all off, and I said what I said, and I meant it. Blade 2... Wesley Snipes did his thing. All right, now, I'm going to show y'all a couple of the CDs that I got. A couple of the CDs that I got. First, we're going with Craig David. Now, Craig David, born to do it. Craig David is so slept on when it comes to these R&B games. I know everybody knows Seven Days, but this dude got so many songs that are just so good. I, there was this Kate Renata song that I heard him on, and I was like, man... This dude is just talented, and that made me go back and listen to all his music, and I don't know why he don't get talked about enough. Craig David is so, so good. This was only $2.99, so I had to get it. Now, I wish this had the 7 Days remix with, like, Nate Dogg, but I'm still fine without it. This is just a great CD. Gonna pop this in right after I record this. And the last CD that I got is the e 4 E40. Um, in a major way. Now, this is actually the only E40 CD that I own. And me living in the Bay Area, I felt that that wasn't right. That To have no E40, that ain't right. Me being from California, that's not just the Bay Area. I have no E40. That wasn't a bootleg, burnt, sorry, E40. You know, LimeWire existed. Um, so, I had to get this. This one has Sprinkle Me, which is like, Top five E40 song of all time. If y'all don't know Sprinkle Me, I don't know where y'all been. 
Sprinkle me, baby. Sprinkle me, my hickle me. Sprinkle me, my hickle me. Sprinkle me, my hickle me. Sprinkle me, my Um, E40, though, is one of them dudes that, like, I want to own a lot of his catalog. Now that I live in the Bay Area, I know I'll be able to find a lot more of it. Hopefully, I can find some of it on vinyl. But in a major way, E40, yeah. All right, now we on to these vinyls. Now, these vinyls are both singles. Now, the first one is A Tribe Called Quest and Erica Badu. You already know. Um, this is Violator. Um, I honestly never heard this song. I've never heard this song. I'm not going to act like, oh, I heard everything. I've never heard this song. So, I was like, hmm, let me, let me give this a listen. You know, I saw it, and I was like, it's only $3.99. You really can't go wrong with Erica Badu and Tribe Called Quest. If anything, I know the beat's gonna be fire. So if I don't like the song, I know the beat's gonna be fire. Never heard it, but anytime I see anything Tribe and it's less than $5, even if it's something that I own, I'm getting it and somebody might just get a gift because that's how talented I think they am. Anytime I think you see something below $5 for them, it's a bargain. So had to get it. Tribe Called Quest, Erica Badu. Yeah. And the last vinyl that I got is a single, Nas, I Can. I know I can be what I want to be. If you work hard in it, I'll be where I want to be. I know I can. I love that song. I love that song. That song has a good message. Nas is kicking knowledge. He's talking about how they cut the noses off the Egyptians and all that type of stuff. He's telling women or girls that they could be something great. Telling black boys that they could be something great. And we need that. You know, we got all this music that's talking about bitches and hoes and all that type of stuff. But where's the positive rap? Nas is kicking that knowledge on I Can. And the instrumental for this is so fire in my opinion. I had to get this. This is one of the this is one of the best the one of the best Nas songs in my opinion. Because he's not he's not going crazy with the lyricism. He just dropping nothing but facts, nothing but bars, and it's inspirational. Y'all don't like this song, then something's wrong with you. Something is wrong with you. And if y'all don't like this song, you ain't black, I feel you racist. <laughs> I feel like you're racist. But with all that said, this has been On The Record. I have been your boy, Jamal Radio Raheem. And y'all catch me next time. I'll see y'all next week. Coffee stay black just like me.